Hi, this is Raptor Feather Vids, like the thumbnail says, and today we're going to be learning about the Kagu. The Kagu is an endemic bird to New Caledonia, a French territory in the South Pacific Ocean. The Kagu is silver gray with a coral colored beak and legs. It is a medium sized bird measuring about 55 centimeters or 22 inches in length. Like many birds on islands, the kagu has lost most of its flying capability. This isn't because it has smaller wings, but rather because the wings lack proper musculature. However, this bird makes up for this disability by being able to run quickly across the forest floor. The kagu is carnivorous, eating small animals like insects, worms, and lizards. Since detailed observational studies have been conducted on the kagu, we know how it hunts. When catching sight of prey at a distance, the kagu will swiftly dash to it and snap it up on its long beak. Sometimes the kagu watches prey from a close range and strikes at the right moment, similarly to herons. It will also dig up more earthy prey like worms with its beak. The kagu has a crest which it uses to court mates and intimidate intruders on its territory. The kagu's territory ranges from 10 to 28 hectares or 22 to 62 acres, and couples will share and defend territories. Kagus are monogamous and lay a single egg, usually in July, which takes 33 to 37 days to incubate. The parents take turns incubating the egg, only getting up from the nest to briefly forage or call to their mate. The kagu's nest is just a simple pile of leaves, but sometimes they will lay an egg directly on the ground. They only nest once a year, and if their first nest fails, they will attempt again. Fledglings take about two years to mature and may stay in their parents' territory for over six years. They don't help raise their parents' next chicks, but will defend the territory from rivals. Kagu pairs often duet and sometimes even sing along with their older offspring. Outside of the breeding season, all kagus that share territories are solitary. Kagus even migrate within their own territory, seeking out areas where prey is most abundant and avoiding grassland and fern cover. The kagu is endangered and the wild population consists of somewhere between 250 and 1,000 individuals. The arrival of humans to the islands greatly decreased the numbers of the bird. At first, it was because the kagu was being trapped extensively for museum collections, pet trade, and zoos. In Europe, it was even considered fashionable to own a kagu. In addition, the kagu and all the native wildlife of New Caledonia was hit with invasive species brought by humans. Rats and pigs ate the kagu's eggs, dogs and cats killed and ate the bird. Before they were introduced, the only mammals on New Caledonia were bats. The kagu didn't evolve for predation and therefore was not prepared for being hunted. Fortunately, the bird is fully protected and is a target for conservation efforts. The population of invasive species in New Caledonia are being monitored and controlled. Like the Watson, the kagu's classification is a bit unclear. It is conventionally considered to be in the clade Gruiformes, along with cranes. A notable trait is that kagus and their closest relatives, the sun bitterns, which live in South America, possess powder down. Powder down is a layer of down in which the keratin barbs disintegrate into fine powder, and no other Gruiforms possess this trait. However, some scientists think it should be considered in the controversial clade meta-aves, along with Watsons, pigeons, hummingbirds, and a few other families. However, there is little evidence to make the clade meta-aves cohesive. If the conventionally accepted Gruiforms classification is true, a likely theory is that the Kagu's sun bitterns and the extinct adzibils of New Zealand inhabited Gondwana, a supercontinent which existed millions of years ago. They could have been separated by continental drift. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel.